good everybody it's your boy raven c so i was about to do a video on my thoughts about earl thomas and next thing i see is raven's release earl thomas <laughs> and it's it's crazy because i thought i heard last year there were problems with Earl in uh, in the in the uh, locker room after a certain game, I think it was a Browns game. Him and Brandon Williams got into it, and next thing you know, kind of quiet down. Then this year, Earl and Chuck Clark get into it, and I'm like. Chuck Clark is the person that plays next to you. If you can't get along with the person that's on the same side of the field as you, with you, that is a problem. Chuck Clark is an up and coming safety that Baltimore Ravens have had for a good little while and they just extended his contract. So word comes out, him and Chuck Clark gets into it, and Harbaugh has to step in and squash that. And next thing you know, reports come out, Earl Thomas is being sent home. So I'm like, okay, you know, just to cool him down, whatever. Then Earl goes out of his way saying he getting the call from ESPN reporters and all of the Fox Sports reporters, NFL Network reporters, all on his Instagram. And then he puts out the 11 on 11 practice video of him and Chuck Clark getting into it and he trying to explain his situation. Why? Why, and you know that's a rule that the team is highly against. They don't care if you put out a play like they showed, uh, like they just really showed, they showed one play, Willie Sneed catching the touchdown. And, but you couldn't really see the play. All you saw was just Lamar throw the ball, Willie Sneed goes up and catches it, touchdown. That's it, you could not break that down. This dude on his Instagram, and everybody knows once you put something on the internet it's going to be there forever because no matter if you delete it somebody has recorded it somebody has taken a screenshot of it and you put this play out and i'm looking at the play and i'm like wow it's showing the formation it's showing the routes that the wide receiver ran what the running back did what the linebackers are uh, defensive line it's showing every single thing the safeties did which is earl thomas and chuck clark Chuck Clark throws his helmet on the ground. Earl Thomas blew a play. I'm like, at first I was like, man, it's not that big of a deal. But then I thought about it. I'm like, Chuck Clark had the green dot. So he's telling people where to go, communicating while the play is going on. And Earl probably wasn't listening to him. And right now, this is practice. Everybody's should be fully concentrated because we're about to play the Browns. It's getting so close. And I'm like, you know what? After I gave it some thought, I seen other people talking about it. Shout out to Engraving Vids. I saw him talking about it. I saw Sonny. I saw Coach Sip, as they call him, Sip 2. I saw them talking about it and it's very interesting that I didn't see no backlash on Chuck and I'm like Earl is the problem. <laughs> then they said that the captains of the team, they had the team meeting and they all let Harbaugh and that dude, Harry DaCosta, the godfather, they let him, they let them let them know how they feel about Earl. And they agree that, hey, we fine if you gotta release him. And 
I'm okay with that as well. He was highly, highly paid. Um, I got to look into for as the dead money. I know he's supposed to be getting $10 million this year. So, with them cutting him, that's the team refusing to pay him his $10 million salary. Which was otherwise fully guaranteed if if they if this type of things did not happen so and i believe it voided the um his contract for as the problems so he literally played for baltimore for one year for 22 million that's fine that's cool that's a lot of bank now comes who is going to take his spot my person, I would love to see. Knock on wood, he's fully healthy. Is Deshaun Elliott, the Joker, and I'm gonna do a video on the Joker because I like this dude. He is a hawk. If he stayed healthy, I, don't, I believe we wouldn't even have him, have Earl, in the background. We would have never signed him, I believe. He is, to me, he is that good. So hopefully he can stay 100% healthy and we can see this dude fly. Him and Choke, very young. Defense, very young. Majority of the defense is very young, I would say. And this could, is like the offense. It could be something that's just very beautiful to come. If Elliott does very good, I, I see him getting extension like chuck clark has got when he played that that year in edc was like man let's sign this dude he is good everybody getting along now the thing also is with Arrow thomas release we're gonna have have one or two weeks uh now nah, i would say weeks a couple of days a couple of days where they're gonna be talking about this they're not gonna let it go Willie Sneed put out a tweet yesterday, I believe. Either you with us or you against us. Earl was against us. Earl seems to be about Earl. Earl had problems, family problems. That everybody has family problems, but you're a superstar. You're a big time name. You're not, your stuff is going to get out there. You sitting there doing things with your brother with different women and you know you're married. Come on, dude. You should only be doing that with your wife. So Earl is gone. I'm sorry for the people that got that Earl Thomas jersey, but he's out of there. So now, hopefully the team can get back on jail, keep his family atmosphere. Deshaun Elliott stays 100% healthy. The dude is going to ball out this year. He stays 100% healthy. So, it was nice knowing you, Earl. It was nice knowing you. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Earl Thomas is probably going to be a cowboy. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Everybody stay safe. Keep your mask. Hit that, hit that share as well. God bless.